So today I'm going to show you how you can port your Minecraft Bedrock Edition pack to Java Edition. And it's really quite simple, um, so you know, follow along um, and we're going to get right in. So now there's three things you need for this. You need over here your Bedrock Edition pack. We have that. For the sake of this tutorial, I've made a tiny pack, and I'm going to be porting these um, six blocks, uh, four pieces of wool, uh, amethyst block, and some blue ice, as well as these three items, which are just three different swords. Um, of course, your pack can be a lot bigger, smaller, it can have different things. That really doesn't matter. Um, it's just about the idea, and then I show you exactly how to port the pack. Anyways, um, you obviously also need a Java Edition pack. Right now, my Java Edition pack is empty, because today I'm going to teach you how to port from Bedrock to Java, and then I'm not going to assume that you have stuff ready yet. Um, so, your Java pack, you want that, but it can just be empty. Yeah. And now we're missing something in the middle over here. And that is the tool we are going to use to help us port. And they are the texture files um, that belong to Minecraft Java Edition. If you're not entirely sure what those are, then just stick around. We'll grab those and then you'll understand exactly what I mean. So, what you are going to want to do to get your hands on these is want to make sure that you actually have Minecraft Java Edition. This, uh, you, you need this to get these, otherwise you can probably download them from the internet, but I'm going to show you how you can get them from your own computer. Now, getting Minecraft Java Edition shouldn't be an issue, since now if you have Minecraft Windows, you can get Minecraft Java Edition for free. So that shouldn't matter at all. Anyways, um, to get them, what you want to do is you want to press Windows and R at the same time. Then this run command box over here should pop up. What you want to do is type in percent, then app data, and then another percent, just like this. Then you can just click OK or hit Enter. Then you should end up in this folder over here, or in this folder over here. Either way, you want to make sure that you're in roaming. Then one of the top folders should be called .minecraft. You want to go in here, then scroll down a little bit until you find a folder called versions. Then once you're in here, um, as you can see there are a bunch of game versions noted. Select the game version of Minecraft Java to which you want to port your pack. For me, that's going to be a Minecraft Java 1.19.1. Anyways, um, I've decided that now I can enter into this folder and there's going to be two items. A .jar item and a .json item. Now, um, Maybe you can't actually see these file extensions. And if you can't, what you want to do is you want to go over to View over here, then Show, and make sure that File Name Extensions is ticked. Anyways, once those have been ticked, um, you should be able to distinguish the .jar file from the .json file. Anyways, we want to focus on the .jar file. You want to just right click this, and then click on copy over here. Then you can exit the folder. Then what you could do next is on your desktop or wherever you're porting the pack, you can just hit Ctrl V and you should be able to paste in the file. This is a tool that we're gonna um, help us use the port, but we still need to prepare it. What I mean by that is go to rename and then remove the dot jar from the end like this. Then you want to replace that with dot zip. Then your computer will tell you that if you change a file name extension, uh, the file might become unusable. But in this case, our file will still be usable and you can just select yes. As you can see, this is now a zip file. Now it's a zip file or folder. Um, 
and you know we still need to extract it. To extract this, you want to right click on it and then select the extract all option. If this is not an option, then you want to um, go over to the, to the description and then go to a program called 7-Zip. It's linked in the description and it will allow you to extract this. Anyways, you can click on extract a second time over here and now it's just going to be extracting. And this might take one or two minutes. And there we go, we've just finished it. Very, very nice. Anyways, now you notice that you have a regular folder as well as a zip folder. Um, also, I know that depending on the performance of your computer, this might take a bit of time, but don't worry. No matter how many packs you're going to port, this should be the only time you're going to have to do this. So that's great. Anyways, you have a zip file and a normal file folder. The zip file, you can just throw that into the trash. You don't need that anymore. Anyways, now we have a 1.19.1 folder. Um, let's enter this, right? And now there's a few things here we don't need. Or actually, we only need one thing. We only need the assets folder. So you can click on the com folder over here, then scroll all the way down to the bottom, then hold down shift, and then click once on the bottom file. This should select everything in the entire folder. Now we can delete these 6,817 items. Um, yep, that also might take a while. Uh, not very long though, as you can see. Okay, now that we have been done deleting, we can get into the good stuff. When you head into the assets folder, and then the Minecraft folder, we don't need these two either, just to delete those. Um, you'll see that this looks a lot like the Minecraft Bedrock um, thing. So here we have textures, and in here we have every texture, so blocks, items, etc. Right? And this is technically all Minecraft Java's textures, and we're going to use this to help us um, yeah, so let, let me explain exactly what I mean by that. First off, I'm going to set this all up. And I'm also probably going to need to explain what I mean by that. Anyways, um, I port packs quite often. And whenever I do so, um, I like to set them up in a nice way in which all three of these folders are visible on the screen. As you can see, just like so... So now, first things first, we want to do the two things which are not actually, um, w w which are not actually in this folder, which we do need to do. Number one, the pack icon. It's really simple. You can just copy the pack icon from your Bedrock pack and paste it into your Java pack. Then you want to go to rename and rename it just pack. And there you go, that's your pack icon ported into the Java pack. Now you'll notice that the Bedrock pack has a manifest file. Every Java pack has something like that, however, it's just not the exact same. So to make the, uh, the file for Minecraft Java, right click, go to new, text document, and then you want to call that pack, just like this. So you should have a pack.txt. You can enter into this. The program I use to launch it is called Notepad++ and you can get it for free in the Microsoft Store. Anyways, um, I'm just going to paste it in and you can do the exact same. Um, you can just copy this from the description of this video. Yeah. Um, and now this is literally it. So. Um, we have, this is like the, 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 the um, manifest.json file for Minecraft Java. In here, we have the description, and this is going to show up inside of Minecraft. And this is just the description that I am going to use. You can use any description you want, just make sure that it's in between the quotation marks. Following the same rules you used 
um, when creating the manifest.json file. Then once you're finished, hit Ctrl S to save it, or go over to File and save it from there. Anyways, um, we're not completely done yet, um, because we still need to rename this a little bit. So you want to right click on that, then go over to Rename. Just like we did with the .jar file, you want to remove the .txt from the end of this. And you want to replace that with .mc and then meta. There we go, just one M. So MC and then meta. Um, once again, you'll get this pop up, just click on yes. And now we have this. Now we can start porting the actual pack. Yeah. Um, and to do that, you just literally look at this. So the bedrock pack starts off with textures. The Java pack starts off with assets. So let's create a new folder called assets. There we go. Then heading into here, we have a folder called Minecraft. So let's create a folder called Minecraft. There we go. Now heading into here, um, we'll have um, the folder we want, which is textures. Um, so let's create a new folder and call it textures. There we go. Then we can enter into here and into here. And now we're all in the same place. We're in the textures folder over here. We're in the textures folder over here. And we're in the textures folder over here. And now this is where this pack also comes in handy. As you can see from Minecraft Bedrock Edition, the folder in which the blocks are stored is called Blocks. However, for Minecraft Java Edition, the folder in which the blocks are stored is called Block. And that is a very important difference to note, because if you make a spelling error, then it's just not going to show up. So we can call this Block since that's where the blocks are stored. And we have another folder, items. Let's see, where is that? It's gonna be somewhere over here. There we go, it's called item. So we'll create a new folder called item. Yeah. And now we have the blocks and items folder here, the block and item folder here, as well as the block and item folder here. Now, depending on the pack you're reporting, you might need to select a few of these different folders. Make sure to watch for the spelling differences there as well. Anyways, um, now to just, uh, so let's just, let's port the blocks first. And it's the exact same thing. So you can just drag these into here. So let's copy those and paste them in here. There we go. Now you might think that we're done, but we're actually not. So let's head into the block folder in our sample pack, and then let's search for the amethyst block, since that's our top one. There we go, amethyst, there we go. This is called amethyst block, and here we have the same thing. It's the amethyst block. So that is completely fine. Yeah, this one, it's done. It's the same, it's called the same here, the same here, and the same here, we're fine. Then. Let's look up the blue ice. There we go. Blue ice is the same. Here and here, we good. Yeah? Then let's look up the wool. Yeah? And now here is where we run, in, run into an issue. As you can see, I have red wool over here. Um, and the name of this file is called wool colored red. Now for Minecraft Java edition, it's called red underscore wool. So we need to rename this file to red underscore wool. And this is exactly what you need to do with everything else. So the yellow wool, yellow underscore wool. Let's do that one. So yellow underscore wool. That one has now been ported. Then white, there we go. White underscore wool. And now there's one thing that you need to be really careful of, and it is the light gray. In Minecraft Bedrock Edition, um, light gray is called silver, and in Minecraft Java Edition, light gray is called light gray. So here I have some wool colored silver. However, here I have some light gray wool. And if it's silver, it's light gray. So I need to rename this 
to light gray wool. There we go. Again, making sure that the spelling is definitely correct, because if it isn't, it just won't show up in Minecraft. Anyways, now that all these items have the correct names, I can move on. Yeah, so let's go back into the textures folder, textures folder, and here let's go to the textures folder as well. And now let's go over to items. So let's go over there, to items over here, and two items over here. Now I can take the three swords that I want to port and just paste them in here once again, doing the exact same. Then in here, I can just search for the swords. Anyways, I have a diamond sword, a stone sword, no sorry, a gold sword, a stone sword, and a wood sword. Let's start off with the gold sword. As you can see over here, it's called golden sword. And here it's called gold sword. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead, rename it, and put EN in the back. Here, this is called Stone Sword, this is called Stone Sword, that's absolutely fine. This one, Wooden Sword, and Wood Sword. So once again, we will put the EN at the back. And now, this is completely finished as well. All these have the correct names, um, they're the same names as these, right? And that is exactly what we want. Um, now, you could just go through your pack, name everything correctly, make sure that it's perfectly correct. Um, if, you're, if you don't want to spell incorrectly, then something you could also do is right click it, go to rename, and then just hit Control C. Then, go to whatever item you want to rename, then go to rename, and just paste it in. So you can copy and paste the names. Um, anyways, once you, once you are finished with that, you are completely done. We don't need the bedrock pack anymore, and we don't need this anymore either. The 1.19.1 folder, or whatever game version you are using, is, is, is pretty important, uh, or a good idea to at least keep that around. In case you ever want to port another pack, then you can just use this again, right? Um, anyways, now we just have the Java pack to deal with. Um, and now we just need to turn this into a pack. And to do that, it's really simple, yeah? So once you're finished, you can just select all three of these files, right-click them, and then compress them to a zip file. Again, you might need 7-zip for this. Anyways, what you want to call this pack? Well, whatever the name of the pack is. Um, very nice. I I apparently cannot spell, but this is what I wanted to name the pack. Um, and now that you've named the pack, there we go. It's ready. This is your Java Edition pack, and now you can just go ahead and import it. If you're not sure how to do that, well, then what you want to do is just launch Minecraft, go into the Resource Packs section, and then drag this into the Resource Packs folder. Anyways, if you have any questions whatsoever, just leave them down in the comments, as this can be a complicated process, and it's very natural to have questions. If you want to discuss a bit more, then I just recommend joining my Discord server. Um, it's a lot easier to chat via Discord than via the comments section. Um, the link to that is in the description. Anyways, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.